Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yes, another video, you guys. I'm on a roll, I'm excited, I'm feeling good. Finally, like, back from the flu, which was awful, by the way. Um, I wanna give the Bye Bye Foundation from It Cosmetics in my previous video another go, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of the CC formulation in there as well. And the look I wanna create today is to pay homage again to my favorite, Gwen Stefani. Um, I've done videos of hers in the past just different looks and stuff and again I am not trying to look like her I look totally different not trying to be somebody like um oh I think it's Alexis Stone and like Promise Tang and actually like turn into and transform into this is just me kind of paying homage to um somebody that I look up to and I enjoy and her gorgeous uh, makeup so that look is actually this picture right here And anyway, I want to create that look. I'm pretty sure it's from one of her voice um, episodes when she did the voice. And I just love the look. And it uses the UD Gwen Stefani palette. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, I've already done my um, cleanser and my um, serums and all that kind of stuff. One thing I did a little different because these are so moisturizing, I used a water gel based moisturizer instead of a cream based one on my skin. And then I'm going to go in with this oil free priming spray from Scandinavia to hopefully suck up any excess oils and allow the majority of the moisture to come from the foundation. So let's do that real quick. Once I set it with powder, the Bye Bye Foundation, I actually started to really like it. The only downfall is that it lays beautifully on the skin. It's just not very long wearing. And it did actually collect and crease, even though it says it has that 3D technology. But um, we're gonna give it another go, you guys. I'm determined to make this work. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take a pump of CC and then two pumps of my Bye Bye Foundation. Let's mix those together. And I'm gonna try a different brush today. I'm gonna try buffing it in with my Real Techniques brush. This is just a buffing foundation brush. In this look, Gwen has really glowy skin. So it's kind of a step away from her usual full coverage, more matte finish. And um, I wanna kind of create that look using these foundations because most of my stuff I wear is very full coverage and mattifying. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more product And I'm gonna work it in with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. And I'm gonna be using the Morphe beauty sponge that has the flat edge on it. Okay, so now that we have the foundation smoothed out, I wanna go in with my Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination in the color light. And this is also sticking with that really like highlighted, glowing, full coverage concealer. It's very creamy and moisturizing. So again, we're gonna set this really well, but I actually do really like this product. <clears throat> First, I'm gonna smooth that in with a Real Techniques um, foundation brush. I personally like it for concealer because I cannot cover my face with a foundation brush this small, but for concealer, it's pretty on point. And I'm just gently pulling the color, or the product rather, I should say, starting at the lash line and just gently kind of pulling it down into Almost like a triangular pattern. Put a little on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and then of course, whatever is left, I'm gonna pop on the chin. I'm gonna use a Morphe G40 now to go ahead and blend. Okay, 
And I'm using hardly any pressure, you guys, just buffing this out. I'm gonna go in with this Real Technique sponge now and just kind of gently press this to blend out any lines and to make sure that it blends in nicely with the foundation. All right, let's go in now and set using our RCMA powder. You guys know I love this stuff. I have yet to find one aside from the Derma Blend translucent powder that really stays with my skin and locks everything in place. Okay, so before we go in and start shadows, again, I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques brush always to clear away any powder that may still be on my eyelids. <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this brush. This is a Blender 35. I'm not sure what it's from, actually. I think it might have been in one of my Anastasia palettes or even possibly just like a random, you know, cheapy makeup brush palette. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna grab this and um, highlight my brow bone. And we're gonna go into our Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and take the color blonde and just highlight the brow bone. Apparently these are the colors that Gwen used or her makeup artist used when creating this. And it just very, very subtly gives it a nice glow to the brow bone area, especially when you turn and you hit the light. The next color they used was Anaheim and that's gonna go into our crease. So I'm gonna use a Morphe 330 brush, which is a fluffy crease brush. And I'm gonna pop Anaheim into my crease. And let's get that going. And I'm actually gonna do a second coat of that color just because I'm a little bit darker than Gwen's skin tone and I want these colors to pop more. Generally, if your skin is like really fair, it's gonna show up a lot sooner. But because these colors kind of blend in with my skin tone, I'm gonna do two coats of them and just make sure you blend it out really well. Now I'm gonna go in with an Anastasia A12, and this is a clean brush, and I'm just gonna go in and kind of drag this back and forth, and just make sure that we kind of smoke this color out and diffuse it a little bit so it's not too harsh, and it just gives it a really nice, softer look. Now, the next thing they did was they intensified the crease using the color zone. So I'm gonna take another Morphe brush. This is the M441, and it is actually clean. It's just that because of the bristles being white, it tends to hold like reds and pinks. They tend to stain it. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dip it now into zone. And tilt my head back a little further and really place this directly into the crease line focusing more on the outside corner and then bringing it into the center. I'm gonna go back in again with my A12 and just make sure that I blend these colors in together. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is work on the lid and what she did was they used um, this color Pop, which is a really pretty sparkly kind of rose gold color and they said it was on a dampened brush. So I'm gonna take a Morphe G15 and dampen this. And I'm gonna grab that color pop and apply this all over the lid. So 
So next up, using a small pencil brush from BH Cosmetics, we're gonna dip into that really pretty cranberry color, punk, and we're gonna line our lower lash line using that. Now on the inside corner, I took it in a little bit tighter and tapered just to kind of give it a real like, almost like a cat eye look. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just cause Gwen's, the shape of her eyes, they're really like big and long. And I want to extend my eye shape just a little bit to kind of match hers. And I'm also going to flare out the edge of the liner underneath just to give it a little bit more smokiness. What they said was they used the color Steady to kind of soften punk up a little bit. So now I'm gonna take a flimsy kind of, it's actually like a lip brush, but like a flimsy definer brush, something that you can kind of move back and forth real gently. I'm gonna grab the color Steady on that, and I'm just gonna run this through the punk color to kind of smooth it out soften up the edges a little bit. So the next thing they did was they used an Urban Decay 24-7 um, pencil liner in, um, I believe it was like Onyx or something. And I don't have that particular pencil, but I do have my LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner, which is very similar in consistency and color. So I'm just gonna run that across my lash line. Um, it doesn't say that they do much of like a wing or anything, but I think this is really good because we're going to fill in real tight by the lashes. So when we apply our fake lashes, it'll just look really full and complete. And you can even go in and tight line a little bit. And I just want to clean up some of the fallout, so I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and just dust away that translucent powder. I also go in with my Heavenly Lux because I use powder everywhere, so I want to just gently remove any excess that is sitting on the surface. But I'm going to do my um, eyebrows off camera today and to do that I'm going to use my Anastasia dip brow pomade and I also picked up a new Anastasia brush let me see if I can find it now you guys okay so I recently um, ordered this Anastasia brush this is the 14 and this is like a really small fine point brush but I love it because it's nice and stiff and it has a small little spoolie and I think it's easier to get in there in detail when you don't have a lot of brow much like myself I kind of have skimpy thin brows that's life guys so anyway I'm going to go in and do my brows really quick and then we'll finish the rest of our face together Okay guys, so I tried my best to emulate Gwen brows. Um, Gwen definitely does more of a squared front and then she has that arch and that longer tail. Um, so I kind of tried my best at it. You know, it's hard to really totally become her. I'm not a true artist either, like Promise Tang or any of them. So I did my best, but um, went ahead and used my dip brow and my brand new um, brush that I got and then I also set it with Tweezerman's clear brow mousse. I love this stuff and I just kind of spiked up the front a little bit and then tapered on the ends to really kind of go with that arch and I also want to apply some mascara right now because we are going to use fake lashes today for this look so I'm going to grab a little bit of my superhero mascara from It Cosmetics and just kind of let that get in there and do its thing and this way it dries while we work on our face. All right, so back now into the face, we wanna start contouring. Grab my contour brush wherever it's at. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques contour brush and also my Makeup London Pro HD palette and grab kind of just a mixture of all the dark colors and light tones just to kind of create a really nice, rich contour. Mm 
Gwen's face is really angular. She's also very, very thin. So I'm just adding a little bit more contour than normal to try to create more definition on my skin. And just work on that outside perimeter. Okay, now using my Morphe sponge, I'm gonna grab this uh, mixture of the yellow in this palette as well as this softer kind of pinky neutral and make kind of like a mixed neutral tone. And we're gonna take this now and pop this on the high point of our cheekbone to create a little bit of brightness and highlight. Now we're gonna grab our bronzing brush and also I'm gonna grab my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I wanna warm up my face. And so kind of where that highlight is and then the contour right in the center there is where we're gonna to start to bronze. Up into the forehead here where the sun would hit you, right in the temples. Now we're gonna go back and forth here in the temples, drag it down the center of the face. And then I'm also gonna take it down my neck so that this way we're not super bronzed on our face and then super pale in the neck and chest area. So I'm gonna to have to mix here. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Nude and a little bit of the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Wear Blush and this is Rapture, which is definitely more plummy. So I'm gonna grab the two to make it a little bit more pinky and put that on a BH brush. This is the number two from the Marble Collection. Pop that on the apple. So, one thing I picked up, and you guys will know this if you watched my previous video, I picked up ColourPop's Sugar Trap Luster Dust, and I really love this. So what I wanna do now is really blind the haters. We're gonna grab a little bit of our MAC Strobe Cream, and I'm just gonna pop that on my finger first, and right at the high point of the cheekbone here, I'm just gonna press my strobe cream in my finger and then buff it out with a little sponge here. And we're gonna use this almost like a base for the loose powder highlighter. Now we're gonna take a Morphe, let's see. Let me grab my Morphe 510. I'm gonna hit this with a little fix spray, a little setting spray, and just pop this into that highlighter and boom. Get ready to glow, you guys. Woo! And also grab it on the tip of the nose. Cupid's bow. So obviously we wanna set this face and I'm gonna do this before I put my lashes on. So I'm gonna grab my Scandinavia um, Makeup Finishing Spray and let's set this. For lashes today, I'm gonna to be going back in with my Kiss um, lashes from the Mink Collection. These are the Noir lashes, and they're super, super vampy and pretty. And in the look, Gwen kind of has a pretty fierce lash going, and you know she's known for them. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these, and then we will come back and do our lips. Okay guys, so we are looking fierce. Oh my gosh, these lashes are just too much, you guys. I'm probably not gonna be wearing them anytime soon after this, just because they are so extra, but they fit the look, cause you know our Gwenny Gwen. Um, now I wanna go into lips, so I'm gonna grab this ColourPop Lippy Pencil, and this is in the color BFF, and we are going to use this along with the ColourPop lipstick that I just picked up recently and that is called Boy.
Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look and she did have like a little headband going around in the look and I love it. I don't know about you guys, but um, I know I don't look exactly like Gwen, you guys, but I feel like her, I feel inspired, I feel glowy, I feel sexy, and I love it. So here you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a ton of fun. And I personally love bringing out oldies but goodies. The Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette is definitely one of my favorites. Not so much even just because it's Gwen. Okay, let's be real. It has a lot to do with Gwen. But I actually really do love the colors and it did take a bit of a flack when it first came out. There was a lot of people saying, really Gwen, this pigment, yada yada. But I think if you know how to work with it and you play around with it, you can get some really pretty looks. And you know what? It is a little bit soft and neutral, but if anybody knows Gwen, her statement is really not always about her eyes. Let's be honest. It's more of this. Bam, red lips. So um, yeah, she she plays it pretty cool and pretty safe when it comes to the eyes, but always very sexy and um, smoky and just gorgeous. So I love her so much. She is one of my favorites. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see. Just say hi. I really love the feedback and I appreciate it so much you guys and thank you so much. I do have just a few followers but you know what? Those few followers count and we can always go up. The sky's the limit. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll link information down below, my social media, the products we used, and until next time.